From the national headquarters of RT America and our nation's capital, hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. Here is the story that all Americans should know about and be questioning, and I mean with a vengeance, okay? The U.S. is actively planning to carry out a tactical assault on Iran in response to the tanker attack in the Persian Gulf. This story, first reported in Israel, comes from multiple sources inside the United Nations. It describes the military actions being considered as an aerial bombing of Iran's nuclear facilities. The bombing, according to the sources, will be massive, but limited to a specific set of targets. Who is pushing this, this plan, this attack, this bombing of Iran, even more so than military officials? Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who we have learned has recently traveled to CENTCOM, Central Command Headquarters, in Tampa, Florida, to meet with U.S. generals there to map this whole thing out. The trip squarely puts Pompeo out of his jurisdiction, but he is said to be getting carte blanche from President Trump, despite some pushback from military commanders, interestingly enough. Also interesting is, as far as the U.S. news media are concerned, Pompeo can do no wrong. He gets cover from them, it seems, simply because, well, because he's not President Trump, who they loathe. But even a cursory look at Pompeo's record and his past reveals a man who may not be a uh, may not be a real primetime player when it comes to foreign policy. He is actually a man who has no problems lying, cheating, and stealing. You know, in fact, who is accusing Mike Pompeo of lying, cheating, and stealing? I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's, it's like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, Did you hear that? The CIA is an organization under his command that lies, cheats, and steals. And it is a joke. Let me play that for you again. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's, it's like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, so how do we know then that the comments he just made this week about needing to attack Iran because they're attacking tankers is not another lie or cheating or stealing? How do we know? <sighs> Most of you who watch this channel don't need Mike Pompeo to tell you some of these things. You probably already knew that. But, but as we learn that he is drawing up plans, literally drawing up plans to attack Iran, it is my job and yours to be mindful of what may be about to happen based, if nothing else, on what's happened in the past. Because as Americans, it's not your right to know what's going on. It's your responsibility. This is the news with Rick Sanchez, where we believe it is time to do news again. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else? In Venezuela, Kazakhstan, let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watching. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.